So channel points are a really awesome way to improve the interactivity of your Twitch streams with your viewers, and you can really personalize them to make them something that reflects your own personality. What's up everyone, Kadak here, and today we're gonna go over channel points, how to set them up, some kinds of ideas that you can use for channel points, and why channel points are a good idea. So first things first, let's go over why channel points are a good thing to use on your Twitch channel. Now, a lot of people that have come into my streams have seen me at some point doing curls or squats or forcing my friend that I stream with a lot, Andreas, to be doing squats. Now, all of these are channel point redemptions and what they do is they allow people to use the built-in loyalty points that Twitch has added in the last year and a bit to redeem those points for activities or whatever you want to set up. Now, this makes it a lot of fun. It makes people more inclined to want to watch your streams. Depending on if they're subscribed, they get a multiplier to the amount of channel points they get. When people follow, they get channel points. There's a whole bunch of reasons that people will do things in order to get channel points so they can then spend those on you in whatever way that you decide to give them options for. Now, the reason that I have workouts mainly as my channel point redemptions is people really seem to enjoy watching me suffer. <sighs> yeah, no, no, no. I just wanted <laughs> to add another 10 sumo squats right after he was done. So that... <laughs> <laughs> You're cold blooded. You know what? You know what? <laughs> There's another 10. <laughs> I have had to edit my channel points over time, not only the total amount that they have to use in order to redeem that channel point, but even limiting some of the channel points because people have gone a little overboard, especially with the shots channel points that I have where you can make me take a shot. I've had people try to go and redeem like 10 or 15 in a stream. And unfortunately, I usually do work the next day, so that is not a great idea. So let's quickly go over how to set up channel points. I'll show you an example of my channel points, and we'll talk over some ideas of channel points you can do for yourself. So as with most of these videos, you're gonna go up to the top right-hand corner here. Go ahead and go to your creator dashboard. Now you're gonna go over to viewer rewards. You're gonna go and click on channel points. So first things first, make sure that you enable channel points. They're only gonna be available to you if you are an affiliate or a partner, so keep that in mind. Um, you wanna go ahead and customize the points display. So I have named my channel points bacon strips. Um, by default, I believe they're just called channel points and they will have just like a little purple icon, but you can go ahead and you can change the name and you can change the image. It'll show you what it looks like. So a lot of my stream stuff revolves around bacon. So bacon strips just seemed like one of those things. And um, people have really enjoyed it. Now, next up is to manage the rewards and the challenges. So we'll go over rewards first. So there's a bunch of default rewards that'll be on every single uh, channel by default um, as soon as you enable channel rewards. So things like highlight my message, which um, basically adds a color highlight behind a message to make it really stop pop out from the rest of chat. You'll see these get used a lot in bigger channels all the time. People can unlock a sub emote. They can write a message in sub only mode, even though I never use sub only mode. Um, they can choose a specific emote to unlock and they can modify one like turning an emote on its side or upside down or what have you. Now here are all of my custom rewards that I have set up. Now I had to turn off sit-ups because turns out I'm pretty bad at sit-ups. Turn those off because it was pretty miserable to watch me and it ended up hurting my back quite a bit. I've had back problems in the past, so this wasn't a really good idea. So instead we added curls, we have sumo squats for my friend Andreas, who I stream with a lot and people really enjoy uh, making him do squats now. This is a recent addition. Um, I have sumo squats for myself, I have an ask me anything, I have a roast me, and then I have take a shot. So the take a shot image here is one of the default images and all the rest of these are images that I've grabbed myself off of the internet. And if you go ahead and go to edit, you can see the images here. You can change the background color. You can change the name. You can go ahead and description and your cost. So let's go and add a new custom reward. So we'll keep it in theme with most of my rewards and we will do jumping jacks. We'll do 10 jumping jacks. All right, for the description, 
Uh, Dimitri will do 10 jumping jacks as soon as possible. All right. So if you have a reward that is requiring some kind of text, so say your reward is read my message, you can have them put in a text for that, and then it'll require them to put a message in there. Most of my don't require that, so we'll turn that off. But for example, my ask me anything, it has that text field in there. So now you're gonna to have to enter the cost. It'll tell you um, how many points uh, per hour on average most viewers get, and you can kind of base your cost around that. So I have a lot of people who have hoarded a lot of points and they like to spend them all at once. So I usually make some of these things pretty expensive. So I usually make this one like 500, for example. Now you're gonna want your image. You're gonna to wanna to resize it three times. I'm not gonna add a new image here. I'm not gonna take that time to go grab an image right now. But you can go ahead and you can change the background color to whatever you want. You can put a hex number in there. You can make it skip the queue so it automatically goes up to the top. So if it's something that is a little bit more immediate or something that's a lot more expensive, you can go ahead and do that. I have this for the shots, for example. Um, and then you can put cooldowns and limits on there. So you can make it so that people can have a limit per you know, hour or days. Um, you can do re uh, limits per stream, which is what I do on a lot of the exercises because I can't personally do a thousand squats per stream. I max that out at a hundred squats per stream because that's something that's a little more reasonable. And then you can also limit it on a user per user basis. Now, community challenges are something that I haven't used very often, but they are really cool and it allows people to like crowdfund uh, a big reward by everybody throwing their own points in there and just like a GoFundMe, they can go ahead and they can crowdfund something. And once that uh, goal is reached, you'll do whatever it says. So a really good example of this is maybe I'll do a community challenge where it is, you know, 50,000 channel points. And for 50,000 channel points, I will go ahead and I'll do a cooking stream. Or, you know, for 100,000 channel points, I'll do a hot tub stream because those are all the rage. Um, you can do a lot of really fun things. You can make it so that people, you know, hold on to their channel points a little bit longer instead of redeeming all of your smaller channel uh, rewards. They go ahead and they commit them towards the community challenge. You can do a lot of really fun stuff with this. I'm still trying to figure out ways that I can use it for my stream. I think a cooking stream will actually be a pretty fun idea. So maybe we'll set one of those up uh, in the next month or so. So channel point rewards are really awesome and depending on what kind of streams you have what kind of games you play you can really customize channel point redemptions for that for example you can have a reward for letting a viewer choose the next map you play or the next character you use or the next gun that you use for a certain round you can give them the option to add you as a friend on steam or riot for example you can let them customize something in your current game, like the actual character you're using. You can actually link channel points to your OBS and your smart lights themselves, and you can do some really cool redemptions. If you guys are interested in that, I can do a video on how to set all that kind of stuff up. You can do a reward for people making you dance on stream. You can also do a reward for turning your chat into sub only mode or emote only mode for a certain period of time. There's really, a vast, vast number of opportunities and ideas out there that you can use for your rewards for the channel points. Now, last thing before we go, managing your rewards are really important and being able to keep track of the rewards as they are. Uh, you don't want someone to go ahead and spend their channel points on something and then not get rewarded. You don't want to miss it. So there is a rewards queue um, that you can have. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one out just so it's a little easier to want, look at. So this is my current rewards queue. And as you can see, I have 30 curls that I still have to do for next stream. Um, Andreas has quite a few squats left. He has 1,310 squats left to do, quite a bit. Um, but the rewards queue is a really good way to keep track of everything. You can mark things as complete. You can mark everything as complete. You can pause the redemptions. 
Uh, this is the way that you would manage your redemptions during a stream. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down below, and I'll try to get to them all as quickly as possible. All of these things really do help my videos perform with the YouTube algorithm, so I really do appreciate them. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. Really love seeing people come over from the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me there as well. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday.